A divine marriage uh, is something that has come from the heart of God. And we understand that marriage is not a man's idea, but it's mm. God's idea. Thank you for joining us for the Blended Kingdom Families podcast. This podcast is for blended families, the people who love them, and anyone who just wants to improve their marriage and family relationships. BKF exists to break the cycle of divorce, equip marriages, and unite blended families with the truth of God's Word. It is our hope that today you will receive biblical guidance and practical resources that will bring unity and peace to create your thriving, healthy home. Let's jump in. Okay. Fist bump back. Oh yeah, fist bump. <laughs> All right, fist bump here. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to BKF Podcast. We are so excited that you're here with us, and we are so excited to have another member of the XO Marriage family yes. with us. Yes. Uh, Pastor Luis and Kristen Roman, you are welcome, and Thank you. we are so Thank glad you. to have you. Yes, you. we honor both of you, and we are just so glad mm. that you are in our house. Thank and you. so welcome, and thank you. And you guys, I just want to tell you a little bit about Pastor Luis and Kristen. Um, just like Scott said, they are a part of Exo Latina with Marriage Today and the Exo Marriage family. So if you go to any of the Exo Marriage conferences, you are going to see them. Mm -hmm. and, and they are awesome, by the way. Yes. I mean, they... Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> They're really good. Yes, and we're gonna dive into some of the resources that they have um, and just talk about marriage and how they also support blended families. Um, but just a little bit about them. They've been married almost 28 years, you guys. So we have so much to learn from y'all. I always love gravitating to people who have yeah. been married for a long time because I'm like, tell me all the secrets. So, you know, tell us what works. Um, but they also have three amazing sons, one who is in the studio with us today. Mm -hmm. um, they are also the senior pastors of Viva Church International here in Dallas, Texas. They are the founders of Exito en la Familia, which is success in the family. They also have a daily radio program in Spanish um, at 7.30 a.m. here in Dali Dallas on Radio Luz, uh, 620 a.m. They are also the hosts of a TV program um, called Enlace TV in all U.S., Central, and South America. And you guys do a lot. Y'all are everywhere. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, well, a little bit of everything. We Un poquito. Do. Un poquito. Un poquito. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, again, you guys, thank you so much for being here today um, and just, you know, coming in here and just sharing your hearts for marriages yes. um, and just blended families. And we're just, we're excited to start the conversation. So thank you. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us here. And thank you for everyone watching and <laughs> we're going to have a great time. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Well, beyond all of your credentials and what you do, tell us a little bit more about you guys, your family, what you guys like to do kind of exact uh, activities, just anything the audience may want to know about you. Yeah, well, I was born in Germany. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. well, I'm Latino, as you can tell. I, I was born in Mexico, raised there too. And um, I moved to the States, uh, came to the school in Tyler, Texas in mm -hmm. many years ago. Yeah. And um, that's where I met Kristen. And I don't yeah. know, honey, I mean, she, she I don't know if you want to say it by Well, yourself. it was a big surprise for yeah. me that my life would end up um, in the middle of the Hispanic community. My yeah. family is can't get any more Anglo than we are. <laughs> my mom is actually an immigrant from Scotland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My dad's German. And so um, I didn't know anything about the Latino community. I didn't yeah. speak Spanish at all. German was my second mm -hmm. language. And so I'm like, this was completely new. It was off the radar. Mm -hmm. I never expected uh, our life to take this turn, but God put us together. And and uh, we lived in Mexico for almost 20 years. Oh, wow. Yes. yes. Okay. So my kids were born and bred um, in and Mexico. I mean, beautiful. And yes. What part yeah. of Mexico? Yeah. Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Okay. okay. Yeah. I have family in Monterrey. Okay. But, uh, I'm the only one in my family who does not speak Spanish. Aww. Okay. But okay. keep going, keep going. Yes. Well, now I do. Yeah. <laughs> because that was actually one of my mother's prerequisites for us to get married. Yeah. She's like, you cannot marry a man that you don't understand a word he says. <laughs> no, I'm no. like, yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> Actually, so I, mean, I hardly spoke English. No, I, mean, I didn't speak Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. It was crazy. We were one of those crazy stories. Mm -hmm. I just remember she used to say, I like you. I love you. I was like, what are you saying? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom was like, if you want to marry him, you got to go learn yeah. his language. So I actually moved to Mexico yeah. as a single missionary. I went oh. to language school. Um, full time yes. for a year to learn Spanish and kind of adapt yeah. to the culture. Wow. And then I just stayed and actually never wanted to leave. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. 
Oh. Yeah, we came here to the States uh, almost 11 years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I can imagine as you learned the language, did you kind of look at him and go, oh, that's what you were uh, saying. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, now I get it. Now I yeah. get it. And then I pay back because I moved here. We moved here and now... And then I mean, you had to learn the language here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I had, this and is my culture. second language. Yeah. So yes. we're a bicultural family. Yeah. Um, you yes. know, everyone, in a sense, is bicultural. Mm -hmm. When yes. they get married, they come with their family cultural, yeah. uh, from their family culture. But we had our own family cultures, plus we had our, our um, heritage cultures. Yeah. And that is yes. a whole other deal, plus language differences. Yeah. Yes. So we had a lot to deal with in the first years of our marriage. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That is incredible. I'm like, they are the real thing. <laughs> we made it. I love it in, 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 in the parallel world of, you know, we talk a lot about blended families and we talk about, yeah. you know, the, the challenges that come when you're blending families and you're blending past and cult, yeah. cultural differences, mm -hmm. family differences, and you're coming together. And, you know, just the, the one, this, the proof that it can work. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and two, we just love your testimony about that. That's, yeah. that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, I know that you guys have been in marriage ministry. Can you kind of give us a, a kind of a background how you got into marriage ministry? Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. Uh, in Mexico, we were in a church mm -hmm. and I, I, we both come from different, um, I mean, from different families, of course, but they're broken families mm -hmm. where they were divorced and, uh, we just grew up in different hard situations, like maybe so many mm -hmm. of, of us have known. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always wanted to have like a, a very close, united family. Yeah. And I came to know the Lord when I was maybe uh, 16. Mm -hmm. And one of my best friends invited me to live with them. Uh, mm -hmm. And they were Christians. And so that's where I met the Lord. And I saw their family. I said, this is what I want. Yeah. I want something yeah. different. So when we came back to Mexico and, and we start uh, going to marry, I mean, I went there down there as a youth pastor mm -hmm. and uh, we start seeing all the need that was around us. And, and we were like, we, we, need to, we, we want the best for our family, but also for other families. And we started giving little talks in our church and mm. just about like, Hey, there's another way to, to do this, yeah. you know, that you get, you guys don't need to go through the same thing that we have gone with our yeah. parents. And, uh, and little by little, I mean, uh, then, uh, years later, a few years later, I wrote a book that yeah. is uh, called success in the family. Mm -hmm. And that little book opened the door for some interviews and radio and TV yeah. down there. And, mm -hmm. and then we started getting conferences and things yeah. like that. It's on a small scale. Yeah. But uh, that has been our passion, like yeah. to have like the family to to be successful. Yeah. And a successful family doesn't need doesn't mean to be perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But actually mm -hmm. to walk in the steps of the Lord and have mm -hmm. peace. I mean, the kingdom of God mm -hmm. uh, is righteousness, uh, peace, and joy. Yeah. Yes. So that's a successful family. Yeah. That's yeah. a successful marriage. And that's how we started. So when we moved here to the states, uh, we were invited to a radio program. Mm -hmm. And then we were offered to ha to have our own radio program, so we started with that. And from yeah. there on, yeah. uh, that's how we started our church for people that were coming into the, the ministry. And yeah. here we are today. Yeah, yeah. Yes. nothing that we sought out or thought would happen. Yes. I would have said we were the least qualified. Like I said, yeah. we had a really rough start to our mm -hmm. marriage, mm -hmm. yeah. and yes. I would have never imagined that we were doing what we we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know? yes. Well, you guys are incredible at what you do, and I'm. I think, you know, we're on our eighth year of marriage and it's people who have gone before us and who are doing this, you know, just your obedience to the Lord and what you're doing. We know how much EXO, you know, Latino, EXO marriage, like how much it is blessing other marriages mm -hmm. and families because it's blessed ours immensely. I just, I, I think what, the thing that makes me excited and it's not the first time that we've heard that and it's not the first time we haven't said that. Yeah. You know, but, that, that we were so unqualified to yeah. do what we were called to do. Yeah. Right. Um, but think about the Lord cheering and watching just, yeah. I mean, just watching crush Satan and crushing, you know, and lifting people up by mm -hmm. those who have gone through challenges and mm -hmm. survived that. That, mm -hmm. that to me is just, it's just fun. Well, I think yeah. about like if we're all running our race and he's like in the stands cheering for us, like that's yes. my son, <laughs> that's my daughter, that's you know, and yes. what they're doing for the kingdom of God. So. Yeah, I just, I, I love your heart for marriages. Um, and we're excited to dive in, you know, to the topic of, well, first introduce your book. <laughs> okay, I said I wasn't going to, but I'm okay. going to try, okay? <laughs> Un 
matrimonio. Un matrimonio. Uh -huh. Divino. Divino. Eso. Ok. Ok. <laughs> so, absolutely. Uh, I, I, I couldn't read this book because it's in Spanish and I don't, I don't understand Spanish, but we did translate some of it. Okay. And it yes. is wonderful. Okay. It's got some great nuggets in it. Uh, can you tell us about kind of the heart for writing this particular book? Well, I mean, I can start and then you can yeah. correct me yeah. on anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how it works, right? Yeah. But um, uh, it has been always in our hearts to, go, to share what the Lord has done. Yeah. And a divine marriage uh, is something that has come from the heart of God. Yeah. And we understand that marriage is not a man's idea, but mm -hmm. it's God's idea. Yes. And so just because of that reason, it's divine. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's divine in the sense that it's beautiful, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we should be the representation of God's kingdom here on earth. Every yes. marriage should be that. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes we reflect the kingdom of darkness. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason is because we don't understand uh, how divine and perfect and beautiful yeah. and specific holy, I will say, marriage is. Yes. So we wanted to express mm -hmm. through that book uh, the simple way, but the profound that it, how profound marriage is, yeah. but also that it is not complicated. Mm -hmm. We follow God's principles. Mm -hmm. We are the uh, so yeah. yeah, we had yeah, we're the complicated yes. ones. Yeah. And so the whole book is, is really our story mm -hmm. and how we have walked through all these twenty something years yeah. uh, uh, to build the marriage that we have today. That as we said in the beginning, I mean, it's mm -hmm. not perfect at all. Yeah. But I mean, we feel that it is divine because mm -hmm. the Lord is in the, in the midst of us and He's leading us every yes. day. And we're learning to deal with our differences. Mm -hmm. We're learning to deal with uh, our communication, our intimacy, uh, how to raise our kids, etc., mm -hmm. etc. So I want to let you talk. <laughs> No, that you was know. great. It was yeah. good. Next. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of like, I kind of look at it like a treasure box. Yeah. Like we tried to throw every, like you said, little yeah. nugget of, uh, that God had showed us over these years into yeah. one simple book. Yeah. So yeah. we kind of, it's a real broad take. We yeah. took a broad brush and, but tried to represent like what you were saying, yeah. God in the midst of all parts yeah. of our marriage, God in the yeah. midst of our intimacy, God in the midst of our communication, yeah. God while we're raising our kids. So yeah. And, and God in our finances. We have a yes. big section on that. Yes. yes, that was one of our huge points of conflict. So we were like, yeah. all our points of conflict, you know, like let's take yeah. them on yeah. and yes. kind of help people yeah. walk through maybe something that they're going to walk through similar to us. Yes. Yeah, help them walk, not not walk through it, but walk out of it. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. Well, using your testimony is such a powerful tool for encouragement to others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, how, how, how good is it that you can yeah. look at what your life and what God's done to your life and go, you know what, let's use that to help somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's a lot of what you know we do, you know, at BKF and what in all these marriage ministries or ministries that we mm -hmm. partner with, it's all about using God's what what He meant, what Satan meant to crush you. Yeah. God's going to use to bless other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it what love. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I I love um, Louise and Kristen when I was reading over. Um, the form of you guys, it, you had said someone had, it was either you, Luis or Kristen had said, God is a God of new opportunities, not second chances. Mm -hmm. I As you. loved yeah. that. And so yes. I was like, you have to explain that to us because yeah. I just want people yes. to hear the heart behind that. Cause I just was like, Oh, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I believe that God is, uh, his word says that his mercies are new every morning. Yeah. yeah. And I, I see God like every day saying, I believe in you. I have a, a, the best plan for your life. Mm. And if it didn't happen yesterday, it can happen today, mm. right? And uh, I don't see God saying, mm, you messed up yesterday, so I don't know how you're gonna do it today. Mm. So in the same way with every area in our lives, I believe that when we come and walk the process of just repenting of our actions mm -hmm. from the past and, and really moving into, uh, in, into the heart of God that He wants something better for us, then we can really experience something new. Yeah. And the enemy brings guilt into our lives all the time. He wants yeah. us to make uh, sure that we remember our failures, mm. but God wants always for us to remember who He is in us and yeah. the victories that we have in, and that we can have in Him. So I believe that God is not a God of second opportunities. I have heard that so many times. God is giving you a second chance. Mm. Mm. And uh, 
Yeah, and I understand the principle, what they're saying, but really I believe more that God is giving us a new mm -hmm. beginning. And so, so yeah. in whatever situation that we're living in, especially marriage, yeah. and with blended families, I understand that there's this big sense of failure so many times. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, that's what we title uh, in our book, uh, the last chapter, uh, A New Opportunity. Yeah. Because I believe like if we walk the process, that God puts yeah. before us, yes. then we can yeah. actually experience a new opportunity. Yeah. Yes. It's not that it just comes by itself. Mm -hmm. You yeah. actually need to surrender to the Lord and be obedient and actually yes. to be able to experience the new beginning in your life. Yeah. So something happens when we hear second chance, mm -hmm. then sometimes we think second best. You yeah, know, that, that this was plan A and mm -hmm. plan A got screwed up. So now God has to come up with a plan B from somewhere mm -hmm. and it's and it won't be as good. Yeah. And the most incredible thing with God, that 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 plan A is a new new plan A. Yeah. So plan A didn't happen. Yeah. But now God is a creative God mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. he's constantly creating and restoring and mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. things new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now the there's a new plan A. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that there won't be a lot of things to work through yeah. and there won't be consequences Absolutely. that God needs to walk his his restoration mm -hmm. process yeah. through. Yeah. But he is so good. And, yes. and I love that part. And one of the things that, that we've talked about is like the life-giving resurrection power of yeah. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And we know that marriage is, is a covenant, right? Yeah. Yes. And, and in Genesis 15, we can see the consequences of breaking a covenant. Yeah. And we see it with Abraham. We see the, you know, how they would um, have to divide an mm -hmm. animal in half yeah. and it would bleed and they'd have to walk between it. And, it. and God was letting us know, you know, if we break covenant, there's going to be death. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. we're going to have to walk through that. Mm -hmm. But I am the resurrection life. Yes. Yeah. So I breathe life into all that is dead. Mm -hmm. mm, that is so, so good. Yes. You know, it actually just, it, it made me, because I've walked through divorce, Scott has not. Mm -hmm. um, but it made me, I remember carrying around the mentality of I am damaged goods. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. once I... Met, I, you know, I went through pastoral counseling mm -hmm. and went into a process of, and we'll dive into this in the book, but of repentance and asking for forgiveness mm -hmm. and then yeah. accepting Christ and getting baptized and just knowing and understanding I am a new creation in mm -hmm. Christ. The yes. past is gone. Yes. It is old in his way, yes. but I am a new creation yes. in him. So yes, there are consequences for going through divorce. I, you know, we experienced that as a blended mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. um, but God can, he is redeemed. He is yes. restored yes. and he continues to bless yes. our marriage and our children um, because we are obedient to his word and we, um, mm -hmm. um, you know, we keep him at the forefront of our marriage and our family mm -hmm. yeah. every day. Yes. So love that. Yeah. But yeah, you know, you know, moving into the book, you know, Pastor Lisa and Kristen, you hit these four different points mm -hmm. when it talks about the new opportunities and adapting into a blended family. So I would really love for you guys to kind of break those down if you can and walk through those. Yes, for sure. I mean, like a new opportunity, as, as we were saying, is something that starts new, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when blended, fam blended families uh, come together, uh, they use one of the things that they want to do or they want to walk through is to embrace mm -hmm. each other and just to kind of mm -hmm. like move on and, and yeah. but sometimes it's, it doesn't happen that easy. Mm -hmm. So the Lord, I mean, He wants us to embrace the new mm -hmm. because I mean the past is, is gone, right? Or it's in the past. So we're living a new beginning, mm -hmm. but we need to do all the steps before that happens. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like for anyone, anyone that's watching that has a, 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 this in a situation where you guys are blind, the family, I mean, bless you, and I, I want you to be free from any guilt from the enemy, but to enable to be able to do that, we need to actually walk the process that the Lord has given us. And the first one mm -hmm. is to ask forgiveness. Yes. Yeah. Even if you were not the, uh, the, the person that yeah. actually did something wrong, but Desire. you were the victim mm -hmm. uh, in the divorce, mm -hmm. or uh, still you, are, you play a part in it. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe in the reaction, maybe in the yeah. hurt, in the pain, mm -hmm. You know, or maybe you were the one that did something terrible and then yeah. you're divorced, right? right? right. And uh, the, your children, if you have children, the family, friends, mm -hmm. everyone is like an explosion. Right. Mm -hmm. And everyone, everyone gets damaged mm -hmm. in some way. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, we need to go to the Lord and say, God, 
what is my part in this? Yeah. What, yeah. What, is, what was my part? Mm -hmm. And whatever that the Lord brings to your attention, you need to first say, Lord, please forgive me. Yeah. And he says that mm -hmm. he is faithful and good to forgive us and cleanse mm -hmm. us from all evil, mm -hmm. yes. right? And then, but the, the second part is like, ask forgiveness to each other yes. so that you can be uh, healed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the part that I believe that sometimes we want to jump too fast. Mm -hmm. right. And we just need to tell, we just want to tell uh, the children, uh, just forget about it. Just move on. It's yeah. going to be fine. I mean, right. you're going to see your dad later. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we need to say, you know, wait. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry that this is happening. I didn't want this to happen. And maybe it was my fault, maybe not, whatever. Mm -hmm. But just to be sensitive to the situation, I think yeah. is very important. The second part is actually to forgive. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, sometimes you were the victim, but even if you were not, the reaction from people around you, sometimes it hurts you. Yes. Yeah. You know, like people start accusing you or, or mm -hmm. judging you or whatever it was. And, and you need to be sensitive to say, God, I need to forgive this person. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's your spouse, maybe it's your, your children that yeah. they have reacted against you in a terrible way. Maybe it's your father-in-law. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know who, who can yeah. be that person, but you need to go through that process of actually forgiving. Yeah. And the third one is to surrender everything to the Lord. Yeah. Maybe you're going into a new relationship and, uh, and you're like, God, is this you? Mm -hmm. Because that's one of the biggest questions, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, you need to say, God, here is, here is the, I, I surrender yeah. everything to you. Mm -hmm. And if you give me the okay, please show me and confirm it. Yeah. Yeah. And then after those three steps, then mm -hmm. when we feel the freedom to move on, Mm. then we can embrace the new. That's good. And, but it needs to be a process. Yeah. And I believe the Lord wants to bring us to that process. Otherwise, we, we, are, we have the tendency to repeat. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. what the enemy loves to do. Yeah, yeah. That well, generational cycle of... Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Well, at everything we talk about in BKF, at everything we talk about, those three things yeah. when it comes to our mission is to break the cycle of yes. divorce. Mm -hmm. We don't divorce. want that to happen. Sure. But those three things are the steps. Right. That is the process. Right. It is not. It, it is not anything other than that. Exactly. It is that bad. Yes. That is it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as we were talking, you know, before, and you told you, you told us about this, and um, I just in my heart, I just thought, how many blended families are? Because a lot of people who watch us are they're new. They're new blended yeah. families. Yeah. You know, they're they're are they're just about to blend. Mm -hmm. um, but they desire success in this marriage. Mm -hmm. They all join in those, those cons. Mm -hmm. But have you done these things? Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, if you haven't, rewind and listen to that again yeah. uh, because yes. it's really good yes. and uh, it's really important. Yes. Well, and we serve a God of order in the way that he created things. Mm -hmm. And so having processes and going through that, yeah. um, you know, we're, we talk a lot on being whole, like in your singleness and before you go into marriage, but yeah. walking through healing and forgiveness and freedom, um, it's so vital to the health of your, mm -hmm. not only your marriage, but of your future blended family. Mm -hmm. Because if you're bringing in a past spirit of rejection, which mm -hmm. can turn into control, yes. which yes. is pride, yes. which causes yes. destruction. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's, that's, that's where the enemy tries to come in and mm -hmm. build that wedge um, and cause that cycle to happen again yes. and again. So that's why it is so important. And I love yeah. that you said that. Love and that. something that was, uh, as I was coming here, I was asking the Lord, is anything specific? And I felt that the Lord spoke to me about, like, maybe there are people that are watching that they already are into uh, a, um, a blended family for years, mm -hmm. but there have been areas that still, they are not functioning right. Yeah. Mm. Maybe, maybe you need to make a, a, a kind of like a stop the world for a moment mm -hmm. and say, maybe I miss a step mm -hmm. with one of my children, maybe, or, or with my uh, husband today or yeah. a wife or maybe maybe from the past, you know, I mean, I never really closed that yeah. circle. Yeah. And I really feel that if you do that, mm -hmm. then probably everything is going to be released in you mm. yeah. to, to move into the new. Mm -hmm. And so many times they're holding us mm -hmm. back. The enemy keep, keeps pulling us back, you know, yeah. because we have something that is still yeah. are giving him access into yeah. our, our, new, our new family or relationship. Mm -hmm. And it's really key what you just said about the children as well, because obviously what makes a blended family unique are the children, yeah. right? Yeah, Otherwise right. they would just be starting 
another marriage coming in with the regular baggage yeah. we have anyway, yeah. right? Right. It, right? If you've ever yeah. been in a dating relationship <laughs> or a serious yeah. dating relationship and it breaks up and then you move yeah. forward, you're going to be dealing with a yes. lot of baggage. Mm -hmm. But the idea of the blended family yeah. are the yeah. children mm -hmm. coming mm -hmm. into this, mm -hmm. this story. And I think so many um, couples uh, tend to get bogged down in their own healing process mm -hmm. that they maybe feel unable or yeah. uh, to walk their children through the same mm -hmm. healing process. Because yeah. your children need to walk that process as well. Absolutely. The forgiveness process, the surrendering to Jesus, and mm -hmm. even a repentance, although they were not in any way guilty yeah. of yeah. the breakup of the, the family. Yeah. But the, what happens in their hearts, mm -hmm. at least um, I'm from a broken family as well, and God had to lead me through repentance yeah. mm -hmm. for attitudes, mm -hmm. um, some mm -hmm. of the postures that I had taken mm -hmm. uh, towards my stepmom, different things yeah. that I actually had to go through a repentance process yeah. and then a, definitely a forgiveness process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had wished that my parents would have walked me through it, but neither one of them did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I I didn't even get to heal mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. as I was an older adult mm -hmm. and Jesus himself walked me through it. Mm -hmm. But how much better that that could happen mm -hmm. earlier as our parents, uh, if you're walking through this, walking your children through it and mm -hmm. don't feel like you're unable to because you're mm -hmm. too broken mm -hmm. yeah. because Jesus equips us to care for our children. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that you said that, Kristen, because I think there's so many people out there mm -hmm. who are still holding on to, I come from um, generational divorce. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, same thing as you, yeah. as an older adult, I was still holding on yeah. to past mm -hmm. wounds and those roots mm -hmm. of bitterness and anger and resentment. And they manifested early on in our marriage. Mm -hmm. Like, why is this going on? Mm -hmm. Why is this? It's oh like yeah. landmines. Yeah. Going, You're walking through marriage right. and all of a sudden, boom. And it really went back yes. to not only from wounds of my previous marriage, but all the way back to when my mom, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. and parents. And so I'm so glad that you said that. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Whew. That's so many good nuggets, guys. We could talk for mm -hmm. hours. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, we love it. They're so, going to come back. Yeah, they're, they're going to come back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> kind of wrapping things up, uh, I know the blended family community is getting a ton of wisdom, but if you guys could st sit in front of a blended family, mm -hmm. what advice, what what is that one nugget of wisdom you're like, you know, this is what I feel like I want to impart to you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there's so many because I, I think like when every marriage, even if we are blended family, uh, are going to walk through the same situations as mm -hmm. anybody else. So I think um, I will say that be in the same team, be a part of the same team. Mm -hmm. Because when, when we have a chapter there in the book that's called about like, our differences are our strengths. Mm. And, yeah. uh, and for many years, Christian and I, uh, our differences were making us crazy. Mm. You know, I mean, we, we used to love how we were before we were married. Oh, you're so different. Oh, I love that. <laughs> right? And then later, uh, we have actually a situation where uh, I, I was very uh, kind of like, you know, crazy, orderly person. Neurotic. Yeah. Neurotic. Okay, she said it better than me. Neurotic, yeah. orderly. Yeah, but when we were dating, Kristen mm -hmm. would say, oh, I love that you're so organized. You know, you're so, I have all my closet, <laughs> like all yes, the same the color. was all organized by color and the shoes that match the outfit were underneath of that yeah. part. And I'm love like, that. oh, that's so cute. Until I start <laughs> trying to. Until uh, we got married and then he wanted me to do that with my side of the closet. That is so you know? And then I'm like, that's not cute at all. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah. So, so we walked through all that and yeah. then it came to a point where we were like, uh, this is going to break us. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, we need to do something different. And, and I thought and, and I believe the Lord spoke to me and he told me, I mean, you need to be delivered because all that pressure uh, that you want to put in, on everyone yourself to order everything is because you need order in the inside. Mm. And, uh, mm. and it, it was because of my brokenness, yeah. you yeah. know? So now God has healed me from that and still like order, but it's just yeah. a, a, a tool that we use, right? Yeah. It's not the means of it. So, yeah. so I mean, yeah, I will say just be in the same team, whatever the situation is, let's say, how are we going to tackle this together? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And I would say, don't rush the process mm. Mm. and don't expect your children to be on the same timeline as you are in your yes. healing process. Yeah. Be sensitive to where everyone else is mm. and yeah. that's being affected by, by this. Yes. And that's so good. That's good stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the last question mm. that we ask always, yep. uh, blending kingdom families, our ministry, 
What is a blended kingdom family to you? Wow. Oh, that's a good question. You go first while I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the, the, the key word for me there is kingdom. kingdom. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because uh, I believe we are blended in God's kingdom, yes. right? Yes. Yes. And uh, uh -huh. so we're part of a big family and we always, all, all of us have been adopted mm -hmm. yeah. to his family. Mm -hmm. So I have the, the understanding of the grace of God and yeah. all that. So what I see yeah. is grace. Grace over yeah. the ministry, grace over everyone that has gone through hardship, and but they can find restoration mm -hmm. in grace with mm. with Jesus, and, and that's His kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, His kingdom is about that. It's about yes. restoring our lives and deliver us from evil, healing us from our uh, wounds, mm -hmm. and restoring our lives for a better future. Right. Leave yeah. me something to say. Uh, yes, it's because uh, we're the same. We're one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You took it off. <laughs> no, kingdom jumped out at me too, which yeah. of yeah. course in Romans where it says the kingdom of God is righteousness, yeah. peace, and joy. So I would see a family that walks in righteousness, peace, and joy. Mm -hmm. love yes. that. Oh. I absolutely love mm. what yeah. you said about that. That is mm. so amazing. And really, I mean, that when God gave us the vision of blended families, um, I literally was sitting in my closet and I'm a dreamer and a vision person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God had given me a vision of just a tornado of chaos and the word mm. blended families mm. was in that tornado, mm. but the cross is what dropped down in between. And it was the families walking across the blended to the mm. kingdom mm. and to the family and what made it, it's like yeah. the glue Amen. that made yes. it um, work together. So I, everything you hit on and you said redemption, I'm like, yes, that's what uh, our, <laughs> we always say. Blended families, yeah. God's redemption, because he can heal and restore and redeem everything yes. that was lost and make it yes. new and beautiful. And so, man, we have loved you. Yeah. I'm like, yes. love, you, love having you guys on here. Thank so you. Yeah. yeah, we, we love just what God's doing through you guys and, and through your ministry. Yeah. And I know it's touching so many people. And and the fact that you've been here and, and our, our communities, I know they're going to pick up so much wisdom yes. from you. So yeah. it's been awesome. Tell everybody where they can, can find, find you. you. Yes. Yeah, well, yes. uh, we our ministry is mainly in Spanish, So, yeah. but we also reach in people in English. But, so you'll find a lot of Spanish content. So if you know someone that speaks Spanish yeah. or yourself, Go to our website, uh, exolatino.com. That will be yeah. a very easy way to find us. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we have resources on YouTube and Facebook and all, all those areas. Yeah. And uh, if you can give the book to somebody yeah. or read it to yourself, I mean, that will we'll be, be also, that's great. Yes. Yeah, we You can be. learn Spanish. Yes. In the meantime, has a plus because <laughs> yes. you can learn Spanish, right? <laughs> this will teach me Spanish? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's it's going to be translated into English, yes. but for now, yeah. it's in yes. Spanish. That's and we have awesome. our podcast with EXO, yes. Yes. EXO Marriage, so yes. people can find us there in, yeah. in the expo, EXO. Yes. We love podcast. it. Awesome. Love it, love well, it. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here again today. We've absolutely enjoyed our time with you Yeah, all. for sure. Yeah. And you guys, if you have not already subscribed, liked um, to our YouTube channel, leave us a review on iTunes. Tell us what you're loving. Um, we just want to put out more great content for you guys. We love y'all and we hope that you are blessed in all that you do today. Take care. Hey guys, so glad you were here with us today. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And you can find more resources from Blended Kingdom Families at blendedkingdomfamilies.com. We pray that this podcast blessed you today. Be blessed in all that you do.